Today we're taking a look at a heavy duty replacement separator plate from Transgo. This is for the Chevy 4L60E automatic transmission from years 1996 to 2006. This separator plate is made from tempered steel, so it should last longer in the heat cycles happening inside the transmission, and it's also zinc plated. Because this one is tempered steel, it should be able to handle the check balls much better than our stock one. In our case, we actually had a check ball embed itself into the plate and crater out this hole. You can try to flatten out the cratered hole like we did, but a new separator plate isn't that expensive, so at $35, we decided it wasn't worth the risk to put back in. Something worth noting about this specific separator plate is that it's a little thicker than the stock one, but this won't cause any fitment problems and should also help with the check balls getting stuck. This plate is supposed to work on all 4L60Es from 1996 to 2006, but some of the years might need slightly different holes than what this plate comes drilled out with. That shouldn't be an issue though, as it does have instructions on which holes to drill and to what sizes those holes need to be. It would also be a good idea to just keep your stock separator plate around so you can check the new one against it. You can buy this separator plate from a few places, but we got it from gmtransmissionparts.com. Instead of somewhere like Summit Racing, because the Summit Racing one doesn't come with the gaskets you need, whereas this one does. For this one, you don't actually need to pull the transmission. We have ours out, so we'll work on it here. We won't be going into the full removal steps here in this video, but if you wanted to check that out, I'd highly recommend watching the transmission bench guy and his tutorials. He goes step by step in amazing detail. For this install, you'll need to watch his project 4L60E videos for part one, lesson one, and part one, lesson four, which we have links for in the description below. Let's get this installed. So the Transgo kit comes with this separator plate and the two gaskets and instructions. The first thing we want to do is take the filters off of this. So there's two filters which weren't included in the kit that we're going to be reusing. These just snap out by pressing on the barbs on the other side and they just snap right in. We're going to grab our second filter. and install it on this one. There we go. Next, we're gonna wanna remove our gaskets. Now, if you come and take a look at these gaskets, you'll see that there is a B on one and a C on the other. And that indicates which gasket goes on which surface. So the gasket with the C is going to go onto the case. Make sure everything's looking pretty lined up. Next, you're gonna wanna set your separator plate right on top of that. Followed by the gasket that had the V on it. So we're gonna take the stiffener plate, two 10 millimeter bolts, doesn't matter what length they are, and your three one inch bolts. And we're gonna take those all over the transmission. We're gonna take our two longer bolts and we're gonna insert them into this corner here and into this hole right here. That's just to help line everything up so we can put this stiffener plate on. And we're gonna take the stiffener plate put it right here and start our three one inch bolts. We've got a few more bolts to get this valve body in and the transmission pan on. If you're following along with us, you can check out Transmission Bench. This is part two, lesson eight of his videos. We're gonna get this thrown back in the car and let you know how it goes. We're back. We've put about 400 miles on our transmission after installing the new Transgo separator plate. There's not a lot to say about our separator plate, except now we can rest a little easier knowing the check balls aren't going to embed themselves in the plate like our last one. So at the very least, we haven't created any new problems. It's not that expensive and it's easy to install, especially if you're already working on your transmission. And for the peace of mind, I definitely recommend just replacing your separator plate while you're there. As always, if you liked the video, like the video. If you wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And we'll catch you on the next one.